Hello, I'm Rob Pugh and welcome to another first look at the Think Tank uh, Press Pass 10. It's finally here, it's in my hands. I've been waiting for this bag for such a long time. Got so excited when they, uh, they announced this. So uh, we're gonna go over the bag on the outside, on the inside empty, and then we're gonna load it, see what it can do. Uh, as always, let's get started. So, the Press Pass 10 from uh, Think Tank. Um, uh, every wedding photographer should have this bag. So it's classed as a lens changing uh, bag. That's, uh, you know, what it is classed as. Obviously you can fit cameras in here as well. I'm gonna show you it with uh, two lenses in and uh, a camera with a lens attached. That's how I would use it for um, covering weddings with and I would work out this bag as well for obviously changing lenses on the go. But let's have a look around the actual bag itself. So I've took the actual strap off. I'll show you the, the strap um, later on. It's made out of that uh, perfect durable nylon material that Think Tank uses. Uh, again, the, the standard Think Tank logo on the front, their material they use. Looking around the bag, you'll probably see that there's not much to it. We've got a zip on the front here, all YKK zippers, a very nice opening as well, it doesn't catch. This is just purely a pocket as well. Uh, Think Tank was always renowned for their pockets being so organized, all the pockets inside, but they've done away with this, they simplified this bag as well. So um nothing in there it's just purely a, a deep pocket that runs the full length of the bag we'll shut that looking around nothing on the side here nothing on the side there um underneath then there's a little compartment just here velcro opens up and then in there there's a little loop attachment and there's a rain cover that's in there as well i've took that out um because I, I don't tend to use them but if you do want to keep it in, then it stores in that little compartment there. And we do have some loops just on the front of the bag here and here. So if you did want to attach anything, maybe like hand sanitizer uh, or lens cleaning uh, cloths onto there, then you can certainly do that. Coming round to the, the back of the bag, very well padded there. You've got the logo to tell you this is Press Pass 10. There's a zip along here, so again, we can open this. And again, it's just a nice deep compartment in there, hand fits in all the way, and it's the full sort of length and depth of the bag as well. So good to have that. You can put kind of your, your wallet, uh, keys and everything all in there, because it's nice padded, it's not gonna uh, rub against you. And then in the front here, you can put, say your batteries and memory cards in there. Uh, you got four different loops there. That is for the shoulder strap because you can wear this sort of a, as a cross body like this. Uh, or you can wear it uh, like this or, or on the side. And then the other unique feature as well um, is tucked in here, you've actually got um, belt waist straps that you can pull out and you can have this as just a waist bag. So you don't need the strap, it can just go on your waist. I'll show you what that looks like um, in a bit once we've done all the, the overview around and the inside as well. So uh, that's basically the outside of the bag. There is a handle there as well, so you can uh, carry it around. Pretty simple, but simplicity is the best. Then we've got a two zip design here. <laughs> And if it opens all the way, and then what happens, it's got like this clamshell opening. So did you see uh, there how the bag sort of opens there um, to all of its inside. And again, I'm going to just try and pull this up so you can see. You see the little red tab there. So that's another pocket that runs on the inside all along the front. And it's got a, a key loop there as well so you can hook your keys on in the inside so again in there you could put your batteries memory cards whatever in there or your valuables um, and then we've got this insert and it is an insert so I'm gonna just pull that down so you can see there this is an insert you can pull that out so 
multifunctional bag. If you wanted to use it for travel, then you could pull this out so it hasn't got the camera insert in. And then you've just got um, a big empty uh, waste bag that's all padded, it's all lined inside. And then you can just throw all your stuff in there and use it for travel. Or to make it a little bit bigger, so if you was using more chunkier lenses, if you was on the mirrorless um, systems, lenses are smaller, so I would use the insert. If you're using the DLR system, then take the insert out. The dividers, they can actually Velcro directly to the bag because on the back here, it's all Velcroed in. And you can Velcro it directly in there, which gives the bag a, a bit more room if you've got bigger lenses. Um, I like it with the insert in because I'm a Sony uh, user, so mirrorless cameras. Uh, and again, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. You can see in there that there's, I've got two dividers creating um, three uh, areas. Uh, and I will just show you what that can fit in. So here we've got the, the Sony 50mm f1.2 lens, the GM lens, and that's just going to go straight in there with no effort at all. We're also going to put the 24mm um, GM lens f1.2. That's just going to go straight in there. So you can basically see I've got two lenses, one either side that's in there. Uh, that's how I would use the bag. So I would have the strap on it. It would be on my waist sitting here. I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, and I would work out of the bag by changing lenses like that. So I only use one camera body and I change my lenses on the go. I've got my Sony A1 here with a 35mm lens and that really easily just fits into the bag. I mean, you can see there, there's the camera and the two lenses. So all together, I've got the camera body, three lenses in there. Let's just zip this up, no effort at all, all zipped up and in the bag. For me, this is a go kit. Um, this would cover all the wedding all day with my uh, 24 mil for all the big group shots. The 35 would be on there for virtually the entire wedding. The 50 mil on there for like portraits, everything like that. That's how I tend to approach weddings uh, and that's the focal lens that I use. So we've got the camera strap here uh, we've got these two hooks at the end and then again really thick strap which is important when you are a wedding photographer it's on your shoulder all day long um, thin straps will tend to cut into your collarbone bruise your shoulder and come ha harm to you I say this all the time posture is the most important thing as a photographer because when you put uh, a bag on the weight's on one side of you, your body counteracts and leans like this, so your spine is crushing uh, your vertebras, and you're not meant to be walking like that for eight hours. That's why you get home and you're like, oh, my back. You're gonna cause yourself harm. You need straight posture, you need an evenly distributed bag, and you need a bag that you're not carrying your entire kit with you. And this is why I like lens changing bags like this, because my main bag, is on wheels. I will wheel that to the venue. I will go and find where the wedding breakfast is. Uh, that gets dumped there. Uh, I use a bag that it has a lock that comes out of a TSA lock. <laughs> and the phone starts ringing. I'm back. Sorry about that. You never know when the phone's going to ring. Put your phone on silent. Um, where was I? Right, yes, so, um, you know, posture is, uh, is very in important um, when, it comes to, when it comes to that. Strap, very comfy. Um, I would padlock my bag up uh, at the venue, TSA lock, all locked up, can't move. I loop it around a radiator normally, the lock, so no one can, uh, you know, just walk off with your bag. Venues tend to be really safe, you know, but anything can happen. For God's sake, you know, have your equipment insured. Make sure if you do leave it lying around that it's all locked up as well because people can just go in there and, and take something. So in that bag, I would tend to have the videography uh, stuff, the backup cameras, backup lenses, batteries, uh, chargers, everything like that. So all I've got on me is what I am going to use. 
In here will be one spare battery, some spare memory cards, and the, le the two lenses that I will change to, and the camera itself is in my hand. So I'm not lugging around a big, heavy, uh, heavy bag. Please don't do that. Trust me, if you do that and you're just starting off as a wedding photographer later on in life, you're going to suffer with a bad back. So let's show you what this uh, looks like on. I'm going to uh, add this strap on. It's very simple. Uh, it just slots into uh, these. I'll show you. I'll just pop that on, slide that into place. So you can see uh, there it's just slotted on and it's into place. I'm going to stand up so you can actually see what this looks like. I'll stand here, over it goes. Now, obviously you can adjust this strap uh, to your liking. This is where I tend to like the bag sitting. It does have a quick release mechanism here as well. So if you don't want to put it over your, your head, if you've got a big coat on, you can just press this and the, the strap comes apart. So you can take it away very uh, easy and simple. Um, when it comes to accessing the bag, my camera is all in here, so I put my camera in there. It leaves my hands all free to, uh, to, to do whatever I want. And then if I'm coming, I can open it like this, get my camera, my camera is here in my hands. I can be taking pictures. If I want to change a lens, then you see the lens is at hand. If you undo it all the way, then you can see it sort of opens like a clamshell. So then my lenses are there. If I want to change a lens, I'm simply going to pop that down. I take the cap off, move it onto there. I pull this one out, pop that on. Lens is changed. This is what this bag is for. It's a lens changer. Uh, again, I can just take that off, finish with the 50. I can put that on, get this pop this on I'm there I have been doing that for the last five years changing my lenses like that I used to have two cameras uh, with two straps with the cameras either side and I would work all day along like that but even then you've only still got two lenses you would still change your one of your cameras lenses uh, for like the 85 or 50 as you're going along um, I decided it was just I was carrying too much weight and I wanted to lighten the load so I went to one camera and plus when you've got straps where two cameras are hanging your cameras hang here and you kneel down and your cameras are always touching the floor and your lenses are so far off the you know from hitting the floor um, it just it scared me too much and I, I would prefer to just have hold of my camera I'm shooting away and then if I'm moving to another location, say you've done bride preps and you're going to a church, I've got my lens changes here. Look, the camera, it can just pop straight in there and then I can literally, that's it, my camera's away. This is all pretty uh, nice. I can move it around out of the way, job done. So that's it with the strap on. Uh, <laughs> strap excuse the pun um, that's it with the you know the strap attached I'm gonna say now you can have it as a waist belt as well and to do that I'm going to sit down and I'll show you how we change it into uh, into that let me just unhook the strap to start with now if you wanted to turn this into uh, the belt I'm gonna just take a camera out so it's a little bit lighter for me to show you how this uh, all works I'll take those out we'll zip it up on the side you simply pull out the strap on the side and there you go so simple as that now you can put it round your waist and have it as the uh, the good old bum bag. Um, if you don't want to use it, you can just fold it and stuff it back into that compartment there, and uh, it's back to a shoulder bag. So that is the functionality of it. Um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. It's not a big bag. We've uh, covered the outside, the inside, what it can do. Final thoughts on the bag. 
I'm going to say this is uh, it's it's a lens changer bag. You know, it's designed to have your lenses in. It's designed for the the press. You know, to quickly change your lenses on the fly. So I think as a wedding photographer, this is the perfect bag uh, to wear all day. It's comfortable. It's light. You're going to have your essentials in there. Uh, definitely for wedding photographers. If you want it as your daily sort of carry camera bag, then I think this is suited for someone who's maybe on uh, the Fuji system or you're on the Olympus system, the Micro Four Thirds. You've got your camera and you've got maybe uh, three, three lenses that you're always taking out with you then you'll be able to fit your camera, the three lenses in here. It does come with uh, another divider as well, which is like a little shelf. Uh, you can fit your three lenses in here, your camera, you could fit your memory cards in, some spare batteries, your wallet keys and your phone. So for a street photographer, I think this works really well. And um, plus it doesn't look like a camera bag. You see, it's, it's quite, you can flat pack it so for, for traveling, taking it on holiday, things like that, it would work really well. My final thoughts, I, I've, I've got to do it. I mean, this is going to have a one mo five star. Um, functionality, perfect. Uh, for wedding photographers, perfect, works like a dream. Build quality is second to none. I mean, Think Tank, they've been going for, for years. I've had so many Think Tank bags. They last forever. Um, you know, they're not going to let you down. They've got the good quality YKK zippers. Some companies, they say that their uh, bags have YKK zippers, but what you don't realize is there is actually different forms of YKK zippers. There's a really cheap form that is not good. And there is the good quality ones where you can literally open the bag. You can feel it's a nice smooth uh, movement as well. So uh, for that, uh, and the functionality where it can be a shoulder bag or you can turn it into that bum bag scenario, I think that ticks all the boxes. So um, the Think Tank Press Pass 10 has got the one mo five star. There you go, that's uh, our first look over with. Um, I hope that's helped you decide if this is the right bag for you. I can't tell you that it's the right bag for you. Um, I'm going to put it through its paces and I will let you know uh, further down the line how it turned out. Apart from that, make sure you hit that like uh, button. Uh, it really does help. Subscribe, tell your friends about the video, uh, share it, and it helps me create more content. Thanks for watching. Check back soon. See ya.